Hello, my name is Jeremy Spafford, and I'm an Industrial Controls Sensor and Safety Product Manager with McNaughton McKay. In this video, you will learn how to use Rockwell Automation's ProposalWorks software. Once you have opened ProposalWorks, this is a screen you will be presented with. On the left-hand side of the screen, you will see a list of the complete library of parts that are configurable in this program. Above that list, you will have two ways of narrowing down the bulletin numbers. You can start by typing in a keyword in the top field, such as photo, or you can type in a bulletin number in the second field if you know it, something like 800F for 22 millimeter push buttons. Once you have narrowed down the bulletin number, you can double click on the chosen number to open up the configurator. Once this is open, you will be able to select the available options for that specific part number. ProposalWorks will not let you finish until you have completed all the required fields. For this example, we'll choose the operator construction to be round plastic, the operator type, flush, the color cut, green, and the legend text, we don't really need any of that. Now we need to configure the back of panel part numbers. We want to do separate numbers, and we need to select the contact blocks. For the mounting style, we want a plastic latch mount. For the termination type, a screw contact block. For the contact block type, we'll go with standard. And we'll go with one normally open and one normally close on our contact blocks. If you need any accessory items, those can be chosen over here. Click accept and accept again. And that gives us our part numbers. Once you have configured all the parts you would like, you have two ways of distributing that list. First, you can save the list as a proposal works file, or you can export this list to a document, which I will show you here. For this example, we will choose a Word document. You can cho choose what options you would like to include in the table, and then click Generate. Once it is generated, the, document, the exported document will look like this. I would also like to point out some cool features that are displayed on the main bill of materials page. On every part, the stocking location and availability is listed, as well as the current life cycle status of that part. One final feature I would like to point out is the ability to import a list of parts into the proposal builder all at once. For example, if I have a list of parts in Excel, I can select those parts, copy the column, go back to proposal works, Click Paste, and this will import the entire list of parts into the Bill of Materials individually without having to import them one at a time. For additional questions or for more videos like this, please give us a call or visit our website.